So maybe you've seen my earlier video on how to make Cuban coffee, and now you're wondering how to expand your repertoire. Or maybe you haven't, in which case, I'll wait. Now that you're freshly armed with knowledge, let's dive in and make a couple of other Cuban coffee-based drinks. The first is the Cuban Cortadito. If you've ever seen a Cortado on the menu in a coffee shop, it's essentially the same. Cubans are simply guilty of using the diminutive, the ito, for everything, no matter how big or small. So even if you filled up a 64-ounce big gulp of this stuff, you'd still refer to it as a teensy little cortadito, assuming you'd somehow survive the caffeine-induced stress on your heart, that is. Linguistics aside, let's make one, shall we? Cortado is Spanish for cut, because it's a shot or two of espresso cut with steamed milk. We'll prepare our Cuban coffee as usual, assembling the mocha pot as before. I'm going to use less sugar for this batch, about a tablespoon and a half. We'll get some sweetness from the milk anyway, and the foam you normally get from the sugar can be replaced by milk foam here. We'll pour about an ounce or two of our prepared Cuban coffee, depending on how much you want to tweak today, with an equal volume of milk that you've warmed. I'll hit it with a frothing wand as well, since I've got one, but that's about the extent of the artful presentation that I can manage. So if you expected a beautiful latte art rose here, you've got the wrong video. As much as I enjoy the simplicity of Cuban coffee, sometimes you need that splash of milk for the sweetness, the creaminess, the change of pace. If even a splash is too much for you, you can make a macchiato, which is the Italian word for stained. It's simply a shot or two of espresso topped up with milk foam and none of the liquid itself. So outside of a Starbucks, please don't let me catch you reaching for the caramel drizzle whenever a macchiato is mentioned. Now that we've gotten the cortadito out of the way, we'll move on to the café con leche. It's simply Spanish for coffee with milk, which is about as nondescript as you can get, so allow me to explain. Its ratios are most similar to the latte, so whereas the cortadito was 1 to 1, the café con leche will be 2 to 1 of steamed milk to espresso. We'll grab a bigger mug this time, pour in a shot or two of Cuban coffee, with double that of steamed milk. Top up again with a little bit of foam, just so you can say it's worthy of your Instagram. Enjoy! We've used a slightly less sweet Cuban coffee for our previous two, and while you can certainly adjust to your tastes, we're going to throw all that out the window for our last drink. The Spanish Café Bonbon. It's similar to the Cortadito, but made with sweetened condensed milk instead. For this batch, we actually won't use any sugar at all, but the condensed milk will be plenty sweet enough. Pack your mocha pot as before, and let it brew without having to worry about whipping the sugar as you do for traditional Cuban coffee. Café Bonbon is usually served as a layered drink, so even if it's comically large for our purposes here, I'm going to use this clear tulip glass to show off the gradient. Pour about a tablespoon or two of condensed milk into the bottom, and carefully float your espresso over it. Top up with a few dollops of milk foam and admire the layers for a brief moment before you stir and destroy it all. And if you feel bad about consuming this much sugar with your coffee, allow me to comfort you by admitting that I used to drink condensed milk straight from my grandmother's fridge as a kid. So I'll toast to the fact that I'm here, able to make this for you, somehow without having developed diabetes. Allow us to raise our less than nutritious glasses to your health and to mine, just maybe not too often.